All right, hello again, and we are live uh, again to take some um, calls from Muslims, as we heard that some Muslims want to call us. And uh, please invite your friends. Are you there? I'm a Muslim. Answer me, okay. Yeah, Abdul, you, you tell me to call you, but you don't answer. Why you don't answer? Uh, there is someone send me his uh, YouTube asking if you guys would like to subscribe. I'm going to post his link in the channel there in the chat if you like to subscribe feel free and let us see what this abdul story is I wish there is an option we can change the the ringing tone of uh, Skype. Okay, so why you insist you want to call me and what happened? Uh, Somebody asking me, I'm reading your book, The Deception of Allah. Uh, did you translate the Arabic scripture directly from the original or you use the Quran translation? No, I, if I use the word next to translation, the name of the translator, this is mean, that's not my translation. If there's no name mentioned, that's my translation. Who is the Muslim want to call us? <clears throat> Who is the Muslim who want to call us? You see, I start the broadcast again because somebody said he want to debate me. Otherwise, I'm not planning to come really. Let us say not a debate, let us have a conversation. What happened? Anyone? Pick up, uh, you are not calling to pick up. You see, if you call me, people will hear it. I know. Uh, Anyone? I'm calling him again. I don't know. Uh, our friend here, the blood god, asking, Have you ever heard? Okay, I don't know that this is not working. Uh, Brigitte uh, Gabrielle, yeah, I heard of her. You know, but you know those uh, people like uh, Robert Spencer and uh, Gabrielle, they do a good job, but they focus in the political Islam. 
the threat as a politics and the agenda etc for me I focus in the cult in deep you know for them they talk about jihad and uh, you know like the plan of Islam to take over this is their talk and their knowledge is limited in that field well I am calling this guy already here I called him and he is not answering now I see from my side it says uh, hold on maybe because I am invisible this is his call is not coming try now what mank that is I will call you Answer, buddy. Okay, I think you are playing games. There is no way. I see you online. Anyway, there is no, there is no doubt that Islam is a is a religion from God. Look, I mean, like they have a big room, and this room is what Allah He built in this earth. I mean, obviously, this is from God. How God can have a belief without a room? Six meter by six meters. It have to be from God, and how this is cannot be from God? And there is a stone in the corner of it, look like a vagina. This is a godly vagina. Only God, which is Allah in this case, can do that. Uh, okay, okay. Somebody want to call to see if my Skype is working? Let us see. Call me. Hey, my friend. Yeah, it looks like it's working, so you have no excuse, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it seems to be working. You picked yeah, up. I don't know. Maybe he have a, a bad connection. Maybe we don't know. We will yeah. see. Uh, maybe ask him to say inshallah. And yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was actually I was going to say that. <laughs> you, right. you, you did beat me with this one now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm getting so used to your speech, man. Yeah. All right. I was. Yeah. Right, okay, okay, we will just care. confirm by his way. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Okay. So, do we have any Abdul? Let me try one more time with this guy. I will call him. I hate this ring. Answer, Abdul. This is the last time I call you. If you don't answer, I'm going to block you. Okay, let me block you then. I'm done. Next. I just blocked them. I was calling. Hello. Uh, this is Simon. Hey, Simon. How are you? I'm doing fine. So I spoke to you uh, many times, but um, I guess two years ago I spoke to you on um, Peltalk. All right. And you told me that, you know, who cares if they shut you down on Periscope? Just create a new account. Yeah. yeah. This is my account number 14. Okay, fourteen. So how do we deal? Fourteen. <laughs> okay. So how do we deal with censorship? How we do we deal with what? Yeah, um, I'm quite new to to YouTube. I've been here in three months. I upload many of your videos, okay. and I'm quite good with editing videos. 
Yeah. One of your videos got 25,000 views, so on. I'm doing pretty good, but right. they shut down many of my accounts. So, so I'm on my account number 14. How do we deal with censorship? How we deal with citizenship? No, censorship. Shut down my account. Oh, you know, if, if, uh, if YouTube, they, uh, they send you uh, like a strike, uh, just uh, make appeal. Don't just give up. Make an appeal. They will review it, and they will see there's no reason. Because what the Muslims do, they flag your account. They, 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 yeah. they swarm your account, and they flag it. And YouTube, they have an automatic system, you know? Yeah. So just appeal to it. Don't give up. Appeal to it. And then you can create many accounts. In the same time, if one account gets strike, hide all the yeah. videos there until two months is gone, and then you go back and use it later and use the new account. It's okay. <laughs> so, so, so YouTube took my, down my account for hate speech, of course, but on Periscope, they took down, just just take it down. There's no excuse, no explanation, nothing like that. I don't know what about but, Periscope. I never use it, but uh, you know, for uh, you, you have to play the game. I mean, this is a game. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, open a hundred account. Who care? They take one okay, down. So, you know, the, the whole point is to make you give up, you know, to make you not to do. Yeah. We are many that fights with you. Just so you know. Um, and if it was for my sake, I would never ask this question, but I will ask it now. Right? Um, okay. I know that you uh, posted the link to my account. Can you do it again? Sure. It's not for me. It's for sake of uh, making Christ famous, expose lies. Can oh, no. I uh, post it in my chat to you? No, we are not making Christ famous. Famous do not need me to, to or you to be famous. This is a wrong statement. Uh, but to 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 share the truth. That's all. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. All right. I did. Uh, I post my my your uh, YouTube again, my friend. Anything else? Yeah. That's it. Okay. Thank you very much. And remember, we are many people who fight alongside with you. That's good. That's good, my friend. Thank you very much for the support. Bye. Take care. Uh, nobody need to make Christ famous. This is a Christ, my friend. <laughs> the year is 2019 of Christ. <laughs> you know what I mean? It is the year 2019 after Christ. Who is more famous? Yeah. Any Abdul? And this is not about famous, what famous. I mean, Christ, is, the truth is not about it. The, the devil is more is famous than anyone. I mean, the devil is exists everywhere. And he is more, he have more friends than anyone. Right now, if I say there is a party, and this party, let us say, you know, I'm talking about like guys sitting, a bunch of guys. And we say there's a, a group of people, they are praying. They like to join. And we say there's a party where girls wearing short skirt. Which one is going to be the one people will go to? The party and the girls and the drink and, you know, Satan. And Satan is uh, Satan is not just a person. Satan is us. You know, we we can be Satan. the The issue is we blame Satan for everything we do in our life. But the fact we are the we are the walking talking Satan. We do things, and when we do it, we say Satan. You know, wh why are we rape this woman? Oh, they Satan. He deceived me. You're right. It was you. Right. Say that we have a neighbor. He is old. He cannot cut his grass. Who want to help him? Maybe in the whole neighborhood you find one or two. Uh, but if there is a girl, she is wearing a skirt, short skirt, and she is beautiful, and she do not even need your help. How many will volunteer? <laughs> All right? Yeah. If the same girl, 80 years after she need help, how many people will help her? All right? The same female, but she is old. Anyway, where is the Abdul wanna call us? Anyone? Who is a Muslim would like to call us? Who is a Muslim would like to explain to us what this uh, 
what is this room there why you Muslims go around this room anyone Let us see. Look like we opened uh, like for nothing actually. Let us say we've been deceived. That a Muslim will call us, but the coward he will not do so. Anyone? No, yes. You know, I don't know. I wish I can open a business like this, a room like this. Millions of people come to visit it. And I open some stores around. Uh, some rosaries and some perfume and some etc. And miswak, you put it in your mouth, a stick, you know, and you pay a lot of money for it. I mean, business is good. Only Las Vegas. This is a very good business. Anyone? None, not even one Abdul. Now, this is very disappointing. Hmm. Anyone? Yeah, just ignore this uh, why him obviously he don't want to call uh, maybe he's joking anyone may they may they any Muslim Look like we have no luck. And there's a guy himself here. He called himself Muslim. He called himself Amin. Let me call him. And this ring is annoying. Hello? Oh, Shalom. Shalom, Shalom, my friend. Are you a Muslim? Uh, oh, no, no. I'm a former Muslim. You are a former Muslim. Oh, okay. All right, welcome, my friend. Oh. Your life on air. What do you like to say to us? Oh, I just wanted to ask. Uh, in Arabic, people, what is called for the name of God? Because I am a little bit confused in Indonesia, uh, in our Bible, in Bahasa. Hmm. They call the name of God is Allah. Yeah, I understand. Well, this is this is just uh, you know because you live in an Islamic country, so uh, usually min minority they use the same word as the majority use for God, which is the name of the God of Islam. But for Christians, we should not use Allah. As an example, in the Middle East, Arabic Christians they use since they have the translation in Arabic, which is fast translation, and the fast translation oh. use the word Allah uh, when they say the mention the word God, but not as a name. 
so they translate the word God as Allah which is false so this is just a false translation is not accurate and you know if you are uh, if you are uh, if you are a person who became a Christian you should not use the word Allah at all oh uh, some of uh, the churches in Indonesia they begin to uh, change the name uh, they call it Jehovah or Yahweh yes this is, the is this is the correct way you know this is the correct even in the Middle East now there's many churches they are still using the word Allah which is absolutely false and I understand you know they live under the occupation of Islam for 1400 years the threat and I imagine ISIS in your town for for a week you know they will make you say even if they want Trump as God you have to say it or you die so oh. yeah, we understand why but uh, this is absolutely false and uh, Christians they should not use the word Allah at all this is not our God we have nothing to do with him okay okay thank right. you very much you're welcome my friend thank you thank you God bless. and happy for you that you left Islam Take care. All right. Okay. Waim Ali. He says, "Pick up." He tried to call me. Hello. Oh, you finally decided to pick up. Yeah, finally I decided what I can do. I can't. Yeah, run, yeah, that's me. I can't run away. What I can do? It's my destiny. So, what do you want to say to us, Mister Waim Ali? Do you want to debate the doctrine of Trinity? Oh, you want to talk about Trinity? Yeah, I want to talk about the Trinity. Okay, what about the Trinity? Can you define the doctrine and then show it to me from the Bible? Why I cannot? Why I should not show it to you from the Quran? I know you show it from the Bible because it's not no. in the Quran. No, hold on. If I show it to you from the Bible, are you going to agree? Yeah. Okay, are you saying if I show it to you from the Bible, you will leave Islam? No, I'm saying I'll take your word for it, but first you have to define it. Okay, let me ask you, let, me, let us rephrase the question. Do you believe in the Bible anyway? No. Okay, so why you are saying to me, show it to me from the Bible, if you don't believe in the Bible anyway? Because I don't believe it's biblical anyway. Okay, but if you don't believe in something called biblical, uh, how you say to me, show me from the biblical? If you do, you want to show it to me from the Quran because the Bible is not good enough. No, for me the Bible is good enough, but it's not good enough so, for so, you. So, so define the doctrine. For, but, and show so, me. So here, here, so here, so show, here, I, define the doctrine hold on, hold and show me. On. Hold on. Here I see a, a sign of hypocrisy. When a Muslim he says, show me from. Uh, 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 the, the the Bible, but he don't believe in the Bible. So if I show you, you won't believe. No, let us go to the Quran. I believe it's in the Bible. Sorry. As of now, I don't believe that doctrine is in the Bible. But if you show me, then I'll. Okay. Believe what? Okay. Are you a person who have knowledge in the Bible? Reasonable. Okay. Can you read for me Genesis one? First, you have to define the doctrine. Genesis one. Just from the beginning, okay. first page okay. in the Bible. I know where you're going, but first you've got to define the doctrine. You know, you see, here we go, here we go. Show me from the Bible. You want to go and show it from the Bible? You don't want to see. What, what are you going to show me? Okay, what is the Trinity? What the Trinity is? I want you to define it for me. What, what the Trinity is? The Trinity is God. God yeah. is one, but in three person. As simple as that. No, no that's, not the, that's not the Nicene Creed. No, this is the... This is the, the are, these three, are these three persons co-equal, co-eternal? Yes. It's three and see, one. Here we go. You know, I say it's three so person. It's it's three, one. One. three person, three person, but we believe in one God. No, this is what we believe. We will believe in our our Father, one God, okay. and this is what the what the okay. Do you want me to read it for you? Are the three persons <laughs> distinct? My friend, they are three person, but it's one God. Don't but are they distinct? Are the three don't, persons? Don't, don't distinct? play games, don't play games, don't play games. That's don't play you games. reject an no, you, you said to me, no, I don't reject, I accept it in full, word by so, word. So do you agree that the three persons are distinct? Yes, and I ask you now, do you agree are with that? Are they co-equal, co-eternal? Yeah. Yes, do you agree with that yourself? I agree, that's what the Nicene Creed says. Okay, now do you agree with that? No, I don't agree with okay, that. Okay, so you asked me to show I Show you... me that from the Bible. No, I show, you said to me... Show me where it says that God is manifest in three persons, co-equal, co-eternal, and okay. these three are one. Show me that from the Bible. Did Jesus says me and the Father is one? No, no, I want you to define it. Mm. 
let us go first. Let, 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 let us go first to Genesis. Did Genesis says that God created everything and his spirit was uh, 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 in the face of the water? Yes. Okay, this is spirit of who? What the spirit? spirit? What is the spirit there? Spirit of God. Spirit of God. Okay, so here the the first the first line in in Genesis mentioned that there's God and there's His spirit, correct? Yeah. But does it say that the hold spirit on. is a separate co-equal person? Hold on, hold on. Okay. You know, you, you know, you, you you have to say it this way. Like, I mean, a line for you to say what you want to. Want it. No, no, I don't want a line. I just want the concept. Let me ask you then: Is your God Allah is a spirit? You're changing topics. I am not. I am not. I am, I am not. This I am not. Nothing no, no. to do with Islam. No, no, no. I am not. I am not. This is how to do with Islam because you are rejecting it because you are a Muslim, not because it is not to do with Islam. You reject that just because you are a Muslim. I'm asking you now. Is your God? You're changing the topic. I am not. The topic I'm not the changing Islam. the topic. I'm trying the topic. to show you. You said to me, show it to me from the Bible. Show it to me from the Quran. No problem. I'm trying to show you. Do you believe that God is a spirit or He has a spirit? Yeah, he has a spirit. Who is the donkey? He said that to you. You as a Muslim, you say such a thing, proving to me that you are a false Muslim. You're just changing topics. And I am not. I just showed everybody. I just showed everybody. I just showed everybody that you claim that you are a person who knows the Trinity, but yet you do not know your own God, the nature of your God. I not, told you what the Nazi not, Creed is. Just, just shut up. There's not a single Muslim belief that Allah has a spirit. And I told you what the Nicene Creed is. No problem. And I said I agree with it. Now you said to me, Allah has a spirit. Can you show me the reference? This has got. So you now you jump in. No, I am We're not jumping. I am not jumping. I prove to you. We are going step, step by step. I am going step by step. Everybody now is. Step step everybody, you are, you are just a joker. Here we go. I show you that God has a spirit in the first line in, in Genesis. Can you show is me what? Trinity? Is can you show Trinity? me? Yes, this is a Trinity because God the Father, God, the God the Son, God the Spirit. Jesus said, "I am," and the Father is one. So stop playing games. <laughs> I'm asking you. You're here. a clown. You're a clown. You are, you are the clown. Person. How how in the world you claim to be a Muslim? You are a donkey, not only a clown. You are you're a donkey. A clown. You, do, you are a donkey. How how in the world you say to me that Allah has a spirit when not a single Muslim believe in that? You are a kafir. Yes, no, I'm not a Catholic. You are you, you, you just said to me, okay, don't hang up, don't hang up, be a man. Show me who I'm is not, the Muslim. I'm okay, not. I challenge you, I challenge you. I showed you how show my God is a, I hold on step speech. by step. Don't, I showed you my God is a spirit. Show me how your God is a spirit, please. Go ahead. You haven't shown that God is manifest. show me how your you God is a spirit, otherwise, everybody is laughing at you. You claim to be a Muslim and you are going to teach us about the Trinity, yet you do not know your own Trinity. Your God is a spirit. That's mean okay. Hold on. As long as you are saying to me that your God Allah is a physical being and He is a spirit, that's mean He's two, two in one. Do you believe that God, that the God of Islam, two in one? Why you hang up, you coward? Potato. Why you hang up? Minutes. Why you hang up? Oh, okay. You want to search Google? <coughs> you want to search Google? <laughs> Allah is a spirit. <laughs> they want to teach the Christians about God, but they themselves do not know who is their God. They will teach the Christians what is the Trinity, but they themselves do not know what is the Trinity and what is their God nature. <laughs> oh boy. Search Google. May Google help you. And I challenge you to call me back and to show me how dare you to say such a stupid thing that Allah is a spirit or he has a spirit. Yeah, Abdul. Uh, yeah, I was just fixing okay. Uh, That's good. Did you find did you find how Allah is a spirit as you said to me? What I'm saying to you is the Athanasian Creed says 
that God is manifest in three persons. You see, you are a coward. I asked, you know, you said to me, show me, you said, you said to me, show me from the scriptures. I showed you step by step that God has a spirit. I asked you, is your God is a spirit? You said, yes. Can you show me the reference? I showed you the reference of my book. I showed you the reference of my book one by one. Can you show me how your God is has a spirit? You are a liar and you are a false Muslim. You are a kafir. I'll show you. I'll show you. Okay, show me. I didn't ask you if God was a spirit or not. I asked you. Listen, no, me. you asked me if about you asked me about the Trinity, and the Trinity yeah. is speaking about the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is true, yeah. right? Okay. So now I started saying to you that there's a Father. I showed you the first verse in the Bible. It says there's a Father, there's God, and there's a Spirit. Okay. Now I said to you, is your God Allah? I said to you, is your God Allah? Is there, is your God Allah Spirit? You said yes. Now show me where you get this life from. Uh, I told you. Why you don't want to answer? You're, you're a heretic. Why you? Why you don't want? You, no, no. You are. You are. You are the false. You, you are the false donkey. You are the false donkey. You are a coward. You are trying to change the topic. You don't want to finish it. You start speaking about the Trinity. You don't want to talk about Trinity no more. How you just said to me that your God Allah is a physical being and He's a spirit. So now we have one missing, and we will have a Trinity in Islam. You are the one who confirmed that Allah is a spirit and He is a physical being. Yes or no? I didn't say he's a physical being. So, are you denying that. that he's a physical being? Yeah. Okay. So he's a spirit only. I know he has a spirit. Okay. Can you show me the reference? That's. That's not our topic. Our topic. You are a, you are a certified Ooh. donkey. Anybody can search and will find that you are a liar and you are a donkey and you are not qualified even to talk to me for a second. Get lost. Don't call me again. And you are the one is heretic. Not a single Muslim believe that Allah has a spirit. Go search it right now in Google. Everybody will laugh at you, you donkey. You do not know even who is your God. And Allah is a physical being, you donkey. I have debated with many Muslim cleric, and all of them, they agree that, yes, Allah is a physical being. You are a certified donkey. You worship a God you do not know. And yet, you want to debate us about the Trinity. You know, when a Muslim he speak about Trinity, and he challenge us to show him from the Bible. The second we start showing them from their from the from the Bible, they say, "Oh, this is not the Trinity. Show me where it says the three right away." If we ask him about the word Tawheed, we cannot find it in the Quran. Can we find the word Tawheed? We cannot find it. But the Bible full of verses speaking about the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. One God. One God. We believe in one God. Actually, we have something in, in uh, uh, the, the, the law of Nikia, the one you are talking about. Right away, the first line, it says, by the truth, we believe in one God, the Father, the Creator. So this is from the first line, it says one God. So you are the one who is saying to me that no, it's not one, but the fact it is one from the first. You, and, you, and you said, yes, I know that the, the, the law of Nikia and I know what it says. You do not. Let me see if I can find it in English so I can put it in the screen. Let us see. I see there is many history websites speaking. I want to try to find it as it is. We put it on the screen, and right away you will see it says we believe in one God. One God.
Uh, you see, I'm searching in Google. There's tons of places, but none of them is shown us. Okay, hold on. All right, here we go. I found it. I don't know what this website is. I just searched on the internet. Guys, do you see what it says in the top? We believed in one God. The first line. The spectator, he said, no, it's not one God. There are three and they are separated. And okay, yeah, 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 okay. But it says there clearly, we believe in one God. So stop being a liar. You are a fabricator and you are a liar like your father, the devil. One God. We don't believe in three. God in three person. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. One God. Not the three gods. Liars. You will end in fire. I mean, imagine he says no when it is in the first line, not even the second, not even the third. One God only. There's no two God. There's no three gods. That is a lie coming from your, your, your mouth. Same time, he said that his God, Allah, is a spirit. Not a single Muslim believe that he is a spirit. I challenge you. To copy this video and post it in your YouTube and let us see how many Muslims will laugh at you I mean that would look how they lie Allah has a spirit since when Allah has a spirit let me show you some reference hold on Allah has a spirit, huh? You liar. I will search for a fatwa. Always put in your consideration that when Muslim he speak to you, ninety percent of them they do not even know what they are talking about, and even the one who knows what he's talking about, he's a liar. Let me search for the fatwa. Let us see. Allah has no spirit. Here we go. I hope he this uh, this certified donkey. Uh, sorry to call him donkey, do, do, because donkeys will be upset. The man who is a man, yet he do not know if his God is a spirit or not. This is remind me of a guy from Morocco. He used to call me. His name is Nightmare. He's fifty years old, but yet the stupid who speak Arabic who go every Friday to the mosque. He pray five times a day, and the donkey he said to me that Allah has a spirit. And then after I got him busted, he went and he searched and he came back. He said, I made a mistake. He's not. <laughs> this is this is an Islamic fatwa, Islamic question and answer. He is debating with the Christian asking if God, asking, does God have a spirit? Are you watching donkey? Is this, is this guy in the, in the text? Is he in the chat? Waim, are you in the chat? Laugh at yourself. Laugh at yourself, donkey. There we go. This is the fatwa. I'm debating with the Christian. He said that to me that God has a spirit. My question, does Allah have a spirit? A spirit? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, look what he says. <clears throat> Read carefully, certified donkey. The spirit 
or soul is not one of attribute of Allah do you see it so how you donkey you say to me that Allah has a spirit What kind of a Muslim you are? Are you Hashish Muslim? Are you Kokagin Muslim? Hello? You are taking too much Hashish to the point you thought that your God Allah has a spirit. Let us agree to discuss the Trinity and the Spirit of Allah and no divine. Okay, okay, just, 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 stop, just stop. don't, don't again, don't even try to talk in my chat. You are a certified donkey, and you know what? I challenge you. I challenge you, guys. Who wanna, who wanna face a challenge? I challenge this guy to download this video and post the point that the thought where he, where he said the whole, the whole thing. Post it in his YouTube where he said that Allah has a spirit, <clears throat> and let us see what the Muslim will say to him. <laughs> you are a certified donkey you do not even know the nature of your God so our God is one the Father the Son the Holy Spirit one God and Jesus he said when they asked him why you don't show us the Father and that's it and this is why in the uh, 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 in the meeting of Nikia, all the church fathers they agree that we believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made. Potato. Now, if we go to the Quran, we will see the Trinity all over the Quran. Everywhere. This is the first verse in the Quran. Allah, He presents Himself in three names Allah, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim. That is a Trinity. You Muslims, you cannot even name your God without saying, Three names of Allah. Allah, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim. Allah is a multiply names is multiplied of number three, which is ninety nine. Your God consists of ninety nine names or attribute. Question: Why? Why Allah have ninety nine names? And why Allah He start with the three names out of ninety nine? The answer is very simple. Jesus' age on earth is thirty three. X three. Ninety nine. This is why the Muslim rosary, which they took from the Christian monks, contain 33 stones plus a three. 33 stones plus three. If a Muslim want to take an oath, he have to say it three times. If a Muslim divorce his wife, his final divorce is final if it's three times. Mary, Allah, he said to her, you have to fast three days if they come to you to talk to you. Tell them I fasted. Zechariah, three days. Muhammad, when he say assalamu alaikum, he say assalamu alaikum three times. A Muslim, when he do ablution, he have to do repeat the same movement three times over his hands one by one over his nose over his ears three times why three times this is a religion of trinity we believe in three god you believe in a trinity action your prayer is not accepted by allah unless you perform the trinity 
because the Trinity will make you perfectly ready for prayer if we go right now and we search for the word three in the yellow pages of Islam The seven sleepers, they slept in the cave for 300 years. In chapter 19, verse number 10, Zechariah, he said, O oh God, made for me a sign that I don't speak for to people for three days, three nights. I mean, does it make a difference if it's a three nights or one night? Why three nights? Three nights. Let us continue. How Islam based on its number three. If a person want to enter a place of his family, or let us say to other room where his family are, you have to do it in three times. You have to ask for permission in three times, which means three occasions. What about four? Let it go. When the Messiah, he sent the three messengers, and they are Paul and Peter and Simon, as the Islamic reference mentioned. Nobody explained to us why they are three and why they are the messenger of Jesus. When Muhammad became a prophet, in the whole story, there's a three person involved Allah and Jibreel and Muhammad. Am I making things up? Should we continue? If we go to the hadith and we type the word three, let this donkey learn who he thinks that his God is a spirit. He is a man, but yet he do not even know the nature of his God. I will just type the word three, three times. Look what we will find. The Messenger of Allah, he supplicate to Allah three times and ask Allah burden three times. Why three times? What about four? The Prophet perform wudu, which means ablution, three times for each limb. Why three times? Because this is the only way to be perfectly pure. Let us continue. The Prophet, he always repeat things three times. And he say a rebot or rebot or rebot three times, which means get ready for war three times. I saw Ali performing wudu. He washed his hand three times and he rinsed his mouth three times and his nose three times and he washed his face three times and each for, uh, form three times and then he whipped his head and he washed his foot three times. <laughs> and you are saying to the Christians, you how you believe in the Trinity? If your God himself, he told you that all of Islam performance is based on the Trinity. How stupid of you to say we don't believe in the Trinity. Hmm? Right. Now he is saying, you see this guy, he is copying what, what, uh, what Muslim they told him. They told him. Where in the church father the the Christian they they mentioned the Trinity, the, you know the first the first thing the first sign of stupidity is the following, when you say when the, the like uh, we heard that this guy debating Mimi Hijab debating David Wood he says the for three hundred years three hundred imagine even that one is a three hundred years for three hundred years the the church father never mentioned the Trinity so who is Paul, who is John. 
who is Mark who is <laughs> those are not the church father you idiot same time do you know even where the water Trinity is coming from as long you don't you are saying for 300 years nobody mentioned the water Trinity I mean how stupid to say such a thing obviously they do not know where is the water Trinity is coming from because if they knew they will never even ask the question let us show some names from the old and the beginning of the churches as you see in the front of you those are the church fathers mentioning the Trinity this is the faith this is the book it's called the faith of the early fathers and you can see the reference one by one all right 185 254 and then we continue here <clears throat> You can read. Those are all reference registered by historian. And this is where the name Territorian, the year one five two fifty AD. He wrote, but the Logos did not become a son of God until he was brought forth to be instrument of creation. There was a time when the son, a uh, son, did not exist, which means he is not born as a, as a, as a, as in the flesh. So anyway, like you know, uh, uh, you can read and you can see. But all it's one, the trinity of one divinity. Uh, like this article is really long, you can read. We indeed believe that there is only one God. All right. We believe that he sent down the, uh, uh, from the Father in accord with his promise the holy spirit okay the paraclete okay you can read the whole all those reference all these quotations another name in the year 2235 and tens of quotation another name Saint Ignatius the Antakian, year 110. All his quotations, which have to do with the topic. Uh, another name from the church father, the year 140 AD. Another name from the church father, the year 100, 165, which means from 100 to 165, his existence or his lifespan. Another name, 177. Another name, 180. Those are all, and actually some of them, their names, even biblicals, mentioned in the, in the Bible. Uh, another name, 181. Another name, 14202. And you see, this is the it's coming all with the with the quotation of what those people they said. Another one in the year 200 AD with their quotation word by word. Another one year 150, 216. Another one 250. With their quotation 262 I mean we can continue 
but you see how they lie they say name for me not a single one of the church father mentioned the Trinity so who is the donkey in the debate he says that John written 90 years after Jesus but yet he says that for the first this is what he said by the way I'm not I'm not saying that he said that for the first 300 years okay so who is Mark is Mark from the father of the church is John from the father of the churches is Luke what about Paul I mean stupidity and stupidity and stupidity and look at this they try to debate you about the Trinity let us say that we believe in 1000 God and they are true that will not change the fact that you have a stupid God who said the man created from a sperm coming from the backbone saying to me that you believe in one God and we believe in one God that will not make you right or make me right what kind of book he says that if the man have orgasm first the baby will be a boy okay you have one God but what kind of God he says such a stupid thing you have a stupid God are you happy <laughs> they give you a headache they want to debate only about the Trinity as what make their God God because there is one well, we are the one who believe in one God before you. And you don't believe in one God, you believe in Muhammad. He is the true God for you. And not only that, you do not even know the nature of your God. And the proof, here we go, we ask you, if your God, Allah, is a spirit, you said, yes. You spend your life attacking the Christian, but you don't have time to search in Google for five minutes to find out that you are a donkey and your God is not a spirit and he have no spirit. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? So we have a God, his name is Allah, but he is a stupid God. So should we believe that your God is a true God because he is one God? A God who do not know how and what he created first? A God who he think the women she have a sperm coming from her ribs. Okay, you have one God who think that the women have ribs creating sperm. Are you happy? This is the only thing they want to debate the Christians about. Trinity. That's it. Because they have a bankruptcy. They have nothing. <clears throat> I think he made a new name. Let us give him a chance. <clears throat> he is going to die soon if we do not answer him. Yes, Abdul. Are you there? You were reading the creed that I already explained to you. You explained to me what? I said to you, your God, Allah is a spirit. You said yes. Did you show me the reference? You went to read the creed. You were just reading. I told you all that without reading anything. My friend, you, you do don't not, know the you creed. You do not know your God. How you can explain to me my God? How in the world you say such a stupid thing that Allah has a spirit, you donkey? How dare you? you? Know how dare you to say? Explain to me why you're trying to change the topic. Explain to me you how how you got yourself busted. How you got yourself you busted? How this is? Shut up! Shut up! You see, you are, don't don't call me again. I'm giving you a chance to talk to me, but you are a donkey. You don't want to talk. What Catholic website? This is you, you, just to show you how stupid you are. The law of Nikia is shared by all the Christians. It's not about Catholic. It's not about Protestant. It's not about Orthodox. We Christians, we believe in it. You are certif certi certified donkey. What Catholic website? And who cares if it's a Catholic website? Do you think I uh, like? Do you think I believe the Catholic are not Christian? You donkey. Catholic are Christian like me. You took the uh, Catholic website. I was searching where's the lock of Nikki, and I found it in the internet. I put it in the screen. I don't care if it's Catholic. I don't even care if it's an atheist website. But look what happened. He will not say to us how he is a certified donkey who he believe that his God is a spirit. 
when all the Muslim believe that Allah is not a spirit and he has no spirit Allah is a physical being you can go right now and watch my debate with Imam by the bikely Imam al Husseini any 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 Imam any scholar I debated them before and all of them they confirm that Allah is a physical being all of them coward potatoes And yet he want to teach you what the Trinity is. What is that can make? You to see what that can make. <clears throat> I'm trying to find that can make. Zakanaik he explained how Allah he have body uh, <clears throat> I have a video here, you know trying to find it what is this video Zekanek. Hmm. I guess I have to do some clean in my computer too many uh, Authentic narration claims. Says in Bukhari. What's Bukhari's name? <laughs> Muhammad ibn Ismail. It says that a Jew came to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa A Jew came to who? And he said to him, Ya Muhammad. Look at the way they speak. Ya Muhammad. Not Ya Rasulullah. Ya Muhammad. Allah Ta'ala will place all the heavens on a finger. Allah Ta'ala will place all the mountains on a finger. Allah Ta'ala will place all the trees on a finger. Allah Ta'ala will place all of the creation on a finger. And then he will say, I am the king. Upon that, Muhammad Sallam smiled. And to his premolar teeth became visible. And he recited, Ma Allah haqqa qadri. They made not a just estimate of Allah such as is due to him. Abdullah the narrator said the reason why he smiled is to express his wonder and his belief in what the Jew said. So what does this prove? That Allah has? Has? A finger. Waim, this is my finger. The finger of Allah is given to me, from me to you, my friend, today. Do you see it? Your Allah is a physical being and you have a physical finger. So stop being stupid. No prophet ever believed in the Trinity. Uh, yeah. No problem. No problem. But we can prove the Trinity very simple, very easy. But you cannot answer why Allah, you said he have a spirit. You are ashamed. You are ashamed, as simple as that. When when Jesus said to the Jews, let me show you the Trinity, you donkey. When Jesus said to the Jews, and this is quoting from the Old Testament and the New Testament, But as the Pharisees, this is Matthew chapter 22, were assembled, assembled, Yeshua asked them, and he said, What are you saying about the Messiah? So who is talking here, the Messiah, asking the Jews what they say about the Messiah? Who is son is he? 
they were saying to him the son of David he said to them and how did David by the Spirit call him the Lord Jehovah for he said the Lord Jehovah said to my Lord sit at my right hand until I place your enemies under your feet if therefore David called him the Lord Jehovah how is he his son so stop being a stupid and stop saying to me show me where the Trinity is mentioned we showed you the spirit we showed you God the Father and here we see that the Messiah himself is the Lord Jehovah and he is the son of the Lord or the son of God as called as a person as a Christ garbage in garbage out and yet you will say to me show me where in the Bible he says so and the reason I say to you from the beginning if I show you are you going to accept you don't believe in the Bible anyway it's just to disturb us and just to try to take us away from laughing at Islam you have a God you call him one God but he is a stupid God good for you A God who do not know how the baby is created and he is one God that to prove that he is God or what they care for now that he is one God <laughs> He is in one stupid God who made a billion a human being believe in him now. Who is the stupid here? One billion Muslim do not know that Allah has no spirit trust me as you see this donkey he just called me the same as nightmare before he was a Moroccan boy he think that Allah has a spirit all their life they are bowing down to Allah worshiping Allah but you do not know that Allah has no spirit and this is why we say clearly that our God cannot be the same God of Islam not only because of the ethic not because only because Allah is evil not because Allah is fiction is a lie not only that even the nature of the God they worship is not the same as the nature of our God our God is a spirit their God is not the Quran mentioned the word Holy Spirit but in Islam the Holy Spirit for them is an angel they are the same as Jehovah's Witnesses Muhammad is a cult mixer he makes many cults together he took some from the Christian cult some from the Jewish, some from the Sabian, some from the Quebec and Arab, the, the black stone, the Kaaba, kissing them, licking them, going around them, bowing down for them. And then he made a religion, he called it Islam. Otherwise, there is no religion, it's called Islam. Show me, silence me. Who is a Muslim want to call us? You will notice always the Muslim they want to debate you only about the Trinity, but they will not accept you to teach them anything or to talk about anything else. Maybe he have something else to say. Let us call him again. Maybe he gets smarter. Answer, please. Well, I'm not going to call you for next century. Let us see. He's getting smarter now. What's wrong with those Muslims? Say inshallah, say inshallah before you call me or before I call you. Go ahead. Why do you keep running, Christian Princess? Why do you keep running and embarrassing yourself? Well, you are the ones running. Are you going I'm to show me how you say Allah has a spirit or not? You're the one who keeps hanging up. Well, because you're a coward, you're a kid. Either you speak as a man and you'll be consistent, or you don't talk to me. Are you going to show me how Allah has a spirit? Yes or no? 
What was that initial topic? You said to me, you said to me that Allah has a spirit. We are talking about the Trinity. I asked you, my God has a spirit. Is your God have a spirit? You said yes. Can you show me the reference? Uh, what was that initial topic? It doesn't matter. Can you show me the reference? Where you accept that you can't explain you see, the Trinity? Are, are you going to answer or not? Why, why you don't want to answer? Why you don't want to answer? I mean, what you will lose? We are, we are talking. We have time. We can talk until tomorrow. Can you please show me where you get this answer that the Muslims believe that God has a spirit? Either you are a false Muslim and you admit that you are a cult by your own, or you say this is what Islam teach and show me. I showed you my God has a spirit. We went to Genesis from the first verses, verse number one and two. It says it clearly that God has a spirit. Now, show me how your God has a spirit when the older Muslims don't agree. I'll explain that. What is the name I'll of your what is the name of your cult? Okay, okay, no that. problem. I'm listening. Oh, go, go ahead. Yeah, did he say he will explain? Did he say he will explain? Okay. Okay, I'm, listen, I'm listening. I'm listening. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm listening. After I explain this, do you agree that you're no? You have to ex explain to me first how you say to me that Allah has a spirit, and then you can go and jump because obviously you are trying to avoid this. I ask you about this more than twenty times already, and you don't want to answer. Obviously, no, no, it's very embarrassing I'll for you. That. Then when you go to the no, Trinity, I want you. I showed you the Trinity already. Now it's your time to show me how Allah has a spirit. Go ahead. Show me the Trinity. Okay, let us say, let us say you don't agree with me about the Trinity. This is your opinion. Now show me how Allah has a spirit. I want to learn from you. Then as soon as I explain, you have to go back to the Trinity. This no problem. We are religion. we are already I explained to you the Trinity. You don't want to believe it, it's up to you. Now explain to me that okay, my friend. Go, go, go. Okay, show me the reference that Allah has a spirit. Go ahead. Allah is a spirit. Go ahead, show me. You're just jumping from topic to topic. You are the one who mentioned the Trinity, so this is the topic. I said to you, if I, you want me to show you the Trinity from the Quran, you remember? You remember? This is the first thing I said to you, you and, you, and you agreed. The Bible. Okay, I now, okay, no. I said to you, do you believe in the Bible anyway? You said no. So what's the point to show you? Because if I show you tons of verses from the, about the Trinity in the Bible, you won't believe it anyway. Now I'm asking no you, business. shut no up, be on, be a man. Everybody is laughing at you. You see, the reason I let you speak to me is still, but just because we want to have fun, we are bored. So now, are you going to show us how Allah Not has a spirit? Are you're you going? Are you going? Are you going to show us how Allah has a spirit? Yes or no? You jump in. That's what. You, you are the one who mentioned something to me. You are the one who mentioned something to me. You are. You are a shame. You are. You are. Saudi Arabia. There we go. Are you going to answer or not? I'm going to answer when you okay. agree. Not even one Muslim, not even one Muslim in the world believe Allah has a spirit. What kind of a Muslim you are? We believe God is strictly one. Mm, this is not a question. You said Allah has a spirit. He sends a spirit, yes. This is not this is not what you said, you liar. You said Allah has a spirit. I said my God is a spirit. Your God has a spirit. You said yes. I said he sends a spirit. This is not what you said, you coward. It's recorded. It can be recorded if if I said that do you God want me, is a spirit. Do you, do, you want, a do you want me to play it for you again? Can be. If, 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 do you want me to play it for you again? Go on, go go ahead. Okay, hang up. Let me find it and I will play it. <laughs> Hold on. <coughs> Why you don't show us the father and that's it and this is why christian he said that to me that god has a i challenge you to copy this video and post it i'm just trying to find where you call me first time hold on okay hold on you see how they eat their their tongue i found it they say something I don't know what this website is. I just searched on the internet. Okay, hold on. Let's go back. We have to go and back. And I know what it says. You do not. Let me see if I can find it in English. One God. You know, when a Muslim, he speaks about truth. You are a liar and you are a donkey and you are not a... You want is. to finish it. You start speaking about the truth. You don't want... I didn't ask you if God was a spirit or not. I asked you... This has a spirit. Yeah, Abdul. 
Uh, yeah, I'll just fix okay. it. Uh, That's good. Did you find did you find the Allah is a spirit? As you said to me. What I'm saying to you is the affirmation creed says that God is manifest in three persons. You see, you are a coward. I asked you know you said to me, show me, you said you said to me, show me from the scriptures. I showed you step by step that God has a spirit. I asked you, is your God is a spirit? You said yes. Can you show me the reference? I showed you the reference of my book. In my, I showed you the reference of my book one by one. <laughs> Can you show me how your God is has a spirit? You are a liar and you are a false Muslim. You are a kafir. I'll show, I'll, I'll show you. Okay, show me. God, did he say I'll show you? Did you hear it? I said to me, is your God has a spirit? He said, I will show you. Did you hear it? Do you see how they lie? Did you hear it? He just said, I will show you. Hello? Hi. Yes, go ahead. The video myself, okay. Did you say, Did you say I will show you? I made a mistake. Ah, you made a mistake. Uh huh. I All right, from the original topic. Sound good, sound good. You made a mistake about the nature of your God. Be honest with me. Didn't you just learn this? You search in Google and you find what I saw to you on the screen that you are a donkey. Be honest with no, me. No, no, no. Okay, so you okay, for, uh, I, I am not insulting you or a liar because you confirmed to me many times saying I will show you, I will show you, I will show you. So how in the world you are a person who want to debate about the Trinity, but you are not sure and you made such a stupid mistake. How in the world you say Allah has a spirit? How can how this mistake can happen? Explain to me. Uh, how I'm that how this is can be a mistake? Who is going to believe you now that this is a mistake? What do you mean who's gonna believe me? how you say that this is a mistake how somebody like you you are a muslim you call me to the debate about the trinity and suddenly you say to me allah has a spirit how you made such a mistake how this can be a mistake well i just recently started practicing islam ah, so you are donkey enter you spoke to christian prince and christian prince he gave you a certification now it is a christian prince who taught you that allah has no spirit and now you learn that correct Oh, you're just being rude now. Okay, you just learn it now from me. Say it. No, you're just being rude and condescending. Say it, say it, say it. I, the, I am the one who taught you who is your God. Just say it. This is not the way to preach. This is not religion. This you, is not the way to preach. Hateful. No, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Who cares about how I preach? This is not your business. Just, no, no, just, just, just say to everybody, just say to everybody, I learned from a Christian mm -hmm. prince the nature of my God. I was worshipping like a donkey, a God. I do not know his nature. I thought he is a spirit and he has a spirit, but oops, it turned out that he is not. And who is the one who got me busted as a Christian prince? Say it. Listen. Say it. Be, be a man. Be a man one, one, once in your lifetime. You are coming okay. after the Christian to chase them to debate about the Trinity, but you do not even know who is your God, you donkey. You're bitter about something. Something. What's wrong with you? Why you, why you don't admit that you are a certified donkey? Why you are coming after Christians? You want to teach them who is their God, but you do not know even who is your God. Don't you see? Why there's an don't you see here? There's an irony that you do not know who is your God, but yet you want to teach the Christians who they, who is their God. Have I done anything to you? What? Have I done anything to you? I done what? Me, have I harmed you in any way? What harm me? You are no one to harm you. Are not even a mosquito. A mosquito can harm you. You cannot. Why well, you are changing the topic? I'm asking you. I am not harming you too. I'm helping you. I just told you who's your God. You should be. Uh, you should kiss my hand for that. I am no, asking you. I'm, I'm asking him. you. How dare you to worship a God, but you do not know His nature? What kind of a donkey you are? I made a mistake in the heat of the moment. No, this is not a mistake. This is not a mistake. You don't. You, you just no. You just admitted that you learned that now from me. You learned from me. Be a man. Be you, making a mistake. No, you did not make a mistake. Right. And you admitted that you learned that from me now. So you learned that from me. So how come all this time you spend studying the law of the meeting of Nikia, but you never have time to study the nature of your God? Are you stupid or what? Uh, I've studied Christianity. Okay, you do not study Islam. So you became a Muslim, but you don't study Islam. I was born a Muslim. No problem, but you are a born as a Muslim, but you don't have to time to ask yourself a question about the nature of your God. You don't know your own Athanasian creed. You see, here we go. No, website. I am the one. Just a stupid Ooh. idiot. What Catholic website you donkey? A shoe of a Catholic is better than the face of your prophet. Not only a shoe of a Catholic, a shoe of a Catholic priest who is a child molester is better than your prophet. Because both, by the way, they will be in hell together and they will be having fun. 
both they share the same hobby. Coward. He is going after the Christian to chase them to debate about the Trinity, but he do not know even who is God. And he think until now, he, this donkey he is maybe 40 years old or 50, but yet he think his God is a spirit. And he learned that from a Christian prince, how much humiliation you can face in your life that you learn from the enemy of Islam, who is your God. Can you believe it? Allah is a spirit. And let us say for the sake of argument, the Christians, they believe in the Trinity is wrong. Let us say, is that will make your God God? You have the most stupid God ever. How God can be alive if you have no spirit? Your God have a physical being. He's a thing. He have a finger. He have a shin. He have a face. He have eyes. He have an ass. He have hair. But yet he have no spirit. How he can be alive? He's an idol. Allah don't eat. Allah don't sleep. But he don't have a spirit. He's not alive. Right? They are debating you Christians about the Trinity because this is the only topic will avoid speaking about the stupidity of their cult. Let us debate about the Trinity. I don't care if you believe in the Trinity or not. But there's no way anyone he have a little brain will believe in such a God. His name is Allah. Jesus, Jesus, my God. And he is the one who proved that he is amazing, sinless, miraculous. Even his he himself is a miracle. You see, there's many prophets that do miracle, but the Messiah himself is the miracle. And God is a miracle. If God gave me the power now to do a miracle, that will not make me a miracle. The Messiah himself is miracle, and God is miracle. God is wonderful. So is the Messiah. Right now, as we speak, in the stupid cult of Islam, Jesus is alive. Right now, as we speak, Muhammad is in the grave. Stink when he died, as the Muslim reference says. And Jesus is the living God in heaven. That is Jesus, my friend. I made a mistake, guys. He thought that his God is a spirit all his life. He is born of a Muslim family. His Muslim family, all of them, they think Allah has a spirit. And his grandfather, he thinks Allah is a spirit. And his grand grandfather, the whole nation is stupid. Generation after generation, nobody asks himself the question, is Allah is a spirit or not? You see how, you see how, how his stupidity of Islam is? And he is chasing you. I want to prove to you that the Trinity is false. <laughs> yeah, and what? I made a mistake. What mistake? I just learned from you. How you can make a mistake about this? And I was looking in the, in the website, by the way, because I don't memorize it in English. I memorize it in Arabic. This is something we learn when since we are children you can ask any arab christians since you are like five years old they start teaching you this in arabic we recite it by heart and everybody knows that english is not my first language so i have to show it in english and read in english <clears throat> The first thing we as Arab Christians we teach our children to recite the same exact uh, what is called the Nicene Greed. In Arabic we call it Qanun al Iman, the law of faith. You can ask any Christian, and you will see 
and by the way all churches they share the same the same you see they say to you there's different churches that's not true all churches the same they share the same thing all of them We don't care if your God is one or not. Your God is a one stupid God. As simple as that. The God who he think the sun set in the murky water. It's one God, but he think that there's two suns and there is two, uh, there's two east and there is two west. The God who he is one God, but yet he think that the sun sit in the murky water and the sun have a rising place. Have you ever heard of some, such a thing like this? This is your one God? I'm so glad that he is one, not two. Because if it's two, that will be even more horrible. If one God making such a stupid mistake, two God will do what? I am really convinced that your God is God now. <laughs> and he found the sun he reached the rising place of the sun what is that where is the rising place of the sun i want to go there anyone knows the name of the country where the sun rise we have one god brother we have one god not like the christians the christian believe in one god not to throw you a liar we are the one who believe in one god and true god not you here we go. You have one God. He says that Alexander the Great, he arrived where he found the rising place of the sun. What is that exactly? I want to go there. I want to take the first airline ticket and fly to where the sun rises. I, as I know, as I remember, as I see every day, that the sun rises everywhere. And you do not need to go anywhere to see the rising sun place. How stupid your God is. This is a fiction story written by a Syrian guy about the man of the two horn. They call him Zulkarnain. Why? Because the Roman, when they go in war, they wear a hat with two horn. As simple as that. If you go and see the Islamic interpretation for the name Zulkarnain, you will see that this guy he invited his people to join Islam. They hit him with the hammer in his head, and this is how he got the first horn. Boing. Then Allah he resurrected him back, and Allah he sent him back again to his people, and they hit him again in the in the other side of his head, and this is how he got the second horn. Boing. And this is where the name Zulkarnain coming from. So here we go. Allah is one God, but He is a fairy tale God, stupid God. Are you happy? Have you ever heard of a God like this? Huh? Is one God. Are you happy that your God is one? I'm sure so. You are so proud. My God is one God. My God is the only God who discovered the sun rising place. And my God is the only God who found the sun sitting in the murky water. Anyone? So who cares if you have one God or not? As you see, your God is a donkey, certified one. This is cannot be God talking. Allah is telling them, look, the Jews they ask Muhammad. Always the Jews they trap Muhammad. They made fun. That's why he hid them. He got him busted many times. They ask thee of Dul Qurnain, say, I shall recite into you a remembrance of him. Who is talking? Allah. There is no way a mistake here will happen. This is not Muhammad talking. This is not even Alexander the Great, the Great is talking. This is Allah. Lu, we made him strong in the land. We, we, we. Allah saying now what he did to him. And follow, and he follow a road. So Allah, he sent him in a road. This is Allah, he sent him. 
Till when he reached the city and place of the sun, Allah is talking. That this is not the great. <laughs> he found it sitting in a muddy spring. This is true, by the way. In the Middle East, all water is dirty, even the ocean, the river, anything you see, because we are blessed by Allah. They throw garbage everywhere, plastic bags, plastic. You know, they piss everywhere. I mean, if you go to Bangladesh, my friend. In Bangladesh, everybody write in Arabic on his wall. Anyone knows why? The reason? Who knows what the reason? What is the reason Muslims in Bangladesh, they write Arabic words in their walls, in the garden, in the yard? This is the only way to stop Muslims from pissing in your wall. They piss everywhere. They piss everywhere. They urinate with no shame. And this is why now Europe, if you go to Europe because of the Muslims, Alhamdulillah, urine, urine, urine everywhere. The, in Europe now they have a big problem because of urine. Muslim, they piss anywhere because their prophet used to piss like that. Anywhere he is, he, he grab his penis and, and people walking by. I can show you tons of hadith. Let me find you the news. Here we go. <laughs> Bangladesh use Arabic to stop public urination. Do you see it? Because those Muslims do not speak Arabic, so they think maybe even this is Quran. The Arabic is a holy uh, word, holy uh, language of Allah. We cannot urinate. So in order to stop people urinating in your yard, on your wall, or next to your door, what do you do? You have to write in Arabic in your wall. But their God is one God. But you are united in urine. All of us, we follow the step of the Prophet who worship one God who taught us to urinate anywhere. And not only that, Muslims, when they urinate, do you know what they do? They follow the Sunnah of the Prophet. What is the Sunnah of the Prophet? You dry your hands on the wall. You dry it where? On the wall. Am I lying? Where you dry your hand after you touch your penis, you dry it on the wall. And Muhammad used to do that in his bedroom. So imagine what he would do if it's your wall in the yard, outside in the street. A smart Muslim, he tried to defend this. He said, well, he was in the desert. Have you ever heard of somebody have a wall in the desert? Are you saying to me your prophet was carrying a wall with him? Instead of carrying a towel, this is what he do. Welcome to Muhammad. I mean, they have one God. I mean, who can be that? They have one God and we, they have one prophet. Hmm? Hmm? Look at this. The Prophet of Allah is the only Prophet who taught people to spit in their clothing. Have you ever heard of that before? Welcome to Islam.
You spit in your clothes. Do we have any Muslim here? <clears throat> And that explains why Muhammad he have a lot of lies in his body. Forget about this uh, Ali, you know, the coward. He don't even know his God if he's a spirit or not. Why would he want to talk to him? And you see what I hate about those Muslims when they try to, to lie is how how arrogant they are in lying. I mean, we recorded them. It's just recorded and yet he denied that he said that I mean they don't have a dignity don't you have a dignity you we just recorded you it's there it's like as they say in the Middle East your piss is still wet the piss of your prophet is still wet in the wall and you deny it it's there, we see it. I did not say that. Or do you want me to go and show you the, the video? I did not say that. The same as the guy who he said that he did not say that in heaven you can have sex with your family. You remember the Moroccan guy? Do you remember? He denied to, I did not say that. I said, what are you talking about? I did not say that all of them are the same I did not say that and look out at uh, at uh, uh, if you notice how evil they are did you did you hear what he said he said you are using a Catholic website as if it's like that will make me bad he used a Catholic website who care this is the law we agree upon. It's in a Catholic website, Orthodox website. Who care? Who care? Is that will make me like, and you are using a Catholic website. <laughs> he knew that this guy, he lived in America, and in America, the majority are Protestants, so and the Catholic, they are not really. My friend, everybody knows here, I believe the Catholic are my brothers and sisters in Christ, and they are Christian like me. Same as the Orthodox, same as the Protestants. So your dirty game does not work with me. They, they, try, they try their best to divide us. The point of his point in this, that to divide, I don't know, know even if this is a Catholic website, who, and even if it is, who care? Why even I want to care? Any Abdul? No Abdul. All right. In the coming 1,000 years, the Muslims, they want to debate you only about one thing, the Trinity, for one reason. It's a topic we take you away from exposing our cult. We keep you busy for the coming two hours trying to prove to us if the Trinity is true or not. I don't care. You want to believe in it or not? I don't care. Go to hell. I am here to debate you about Islam. Don't try to waste my time. You like it, call me. You don't like it, get lost. Are we clear? Because I know the point of this. Christians, they answer about the Trinity. There's thousands of videos answering about the Trinity, repeating the same story, the same argument. Why oh, I want to waste my time with you? Don't believe in it. And you don't believe in it, not because it is makes sense or not, just because your prophet said so. Why Muslims don't debate us if Mary was a virgin or not? Is that because it makes sense? Let me tell you something. It doesn't make sense unless it's a miracle. Unless there is a plan behind it in Islam, Mary is being a virgin, it does not make sense because what's the point? There's no point of this miracle. 
my mother she can claim to be a virgin when she gave birth to me your mother she can claim that unless there is a plan Jesus cannot should not be from the son of any man he's a son of God this is why Mary she have no husband and Jesus have no father that makes sense in Islam does not make sense if you don't believe that Jesus is son of God so who is the one who made Mary Britain it the one who made my mother Britain it he's my father as simple as that if we ask a stupid Abdul who is the one who made Mary Britain it he will say God well thank you very much why why can't Allah find a husband to marry and then he will get his prophet the one he's looking for his name is Isa what the point of this miracle they have no answer but they don't debate us about Mary being virgin not because it makes sense but because their prophet and their Quran says Mary was a virgin if their Quran says the Trinity is true not a single Abdul will open his mouth do we agree guys that is the truth you are not debating me about it because you believe or not you are debating just because your prophet so is he said it's wrong hypocrites The Muslim website, which one you are asking me for a blood god? You mean the hadith or what? I use usually many website, but like the one in the screen, this is sunnah.com. Sunnah.com and the Quran. I use this website. Quran wow. I mean, you read the Quran is wow. <laughs> it's a wow Quran. I mean, come on, we have to admit this is wow. There's no other wow book, wow holy book, make the sun sit in the murky water. And by the way, the Muslim, they say, oh, it appeared to him that the sun sit and try to lie to you. This is not what he says. Even Muhammad, he says that the sun sit in the murky water. Let's see the hadith. Do you see it? I was sitting behind Allah Messenger. Allah S A W S W F M G G. Wow, wow. Bravo, bravo. Alpha, alpha, alpha. Do you hear me? Bravo. S A W S. Who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting? He said, he asked, Do you know where this set? Do you see it? I replied, Allah and his apostle know best for sure. Muhammad knows best. Are you kidding me? Are you stupid or what? Who knows better than Muhammad? He said, it's set in a spring of warm water. And this is your Muslim translation. So even your prophet is getting himself busted over and over. He will go, you believe in one God. And you believe in one prophet. But this prophet, he think that the sun set in my backyard in a dirty hot water. Do we have any Muslim? They know nothing about their God. They do not know who is Allah. They do not know where he is. They never saw Allah. Muhammad never spoke to Allah, never heard Allah, never heard the fart of Allah. Yet they want to debate you about your God. And then when we ask a Muslim, is your God Allah the Spirit? He say yes. Try it yourself and see how the Muslim he will say to you, Yes, Allah has a spirit. They don't know, they are just followers blindly. Will John Smith, my friend, let them here watch my videos, share my videos with them? So you have a God who believes the sun set in the murky water, the women have a sperm coming from her ribs. The thunder is an ice. Uh, sorry, the thunder is an angel. Uh, the ice is coming from mountains in heaven, and Allah break it pieces and sends it on us. I mean, what I will say? You have a God who believes that the fresh water and the salty water never mix because He thinks there's a barrier between them. This is God. 
<laughs> Obviously, this is a god. I mean, who can who can debate this god? Nobody. Look at this. Who can talk to this prophet? This guy, this prophet is a philosopher. This is deep, my friend. This is deep. The, who is the one who discovered the sun set in the murky water before Prophet Muhammad? We have to admit, nobody. Nobody. No Japanese, no Indian, no atheist, no Christian, no Hindus, nobody. This is copyright to Muhammad. All what the Muslim he want to do to believe to make you believe he believe in one God, but his God is a donkey. Who cares if your God is one or two? If there is a religion, let us say a Hindu or whatever, Buddha, whatever, you know, let us say believe there's a ten ten thousand gods, but they are true God. It that's mean you, you lost. And you believe there's only one God, but your God Allah is a fufu, is a potato. That's mean you lost. We don't care really about how many they are. We care about how truthful what we believe in. Do we agree, guys? Do we agree? Who cares if God is one or two or four or five or seven? What we care for, if what we believe in is true or not. If there is ten God, there is ten God. If there is one God, there is one God. So believing in one God will not make you... This is, this is how stupid they are. They think if they say we believe in one God, that means they have like a strong uh, hold like we believe in one god we believe in one god who care and by the way the quran confirmed that allah cannot be one when allah he said if we want to have a partner for sex we will take it with ourselves how allah is one he would take it from ourselves allah is going to f himself hmm? your god is one but yet he is going to have sex with himself so Allah want to have a partner, and this partner is from ourself. Well, nice to meet you, my, my ourself. Ourself. What a stupid religion. What? A stupid religion. Ourself. Do we have any Muslim who believe in Allah who said ourself? Anyone? <clears throat> hmm. Not only the stupidity of the Quran uh, about science is, is really beyond this uh, imagination, even the logic of Allah. Like imagine Allah, he says to the Arab, you take for you the sons and you give to Allah the females. I mean, you have children are as, as male. And you give Allah the female. This is unjust. Have you ever heard of a God like this? This is God, he said to the Arab. You give Allah the good, the, the, the girls, and you take for yourself the boys. And then he says, this is unjust. <laughs> like what? 
for you the male and for Allah the female that is indeed where an unfair division this is God God is complaining it's unfair division the Arab they like to have Allah have daughters and they have sons <laughs> <laughs> this is God Abdul is that God talking God complained that why you gave him the female's daughters and you took the male daughter so how we can help Allah now give him the male sons and by the way here you notice <clears throat> that the Arab they worship females the Arab they were not against females as the Muslim they lie to us to the point they made the females their gods even the Quran he refused the angels to be females why because the Arab they believe the angels are females too as we see in chapter 53 verse number 27 do you see it it is the Muslim who start believing that angels are male they cannot be females the Arab believe they have angels they are females they are believed that God have daughters. And you see here the one is speaking about the gender, literally about gender. He's not complaining about if they are real or not. He is complaining about their gender. Do we have any Muslim want to call us? <clears throat> Anyone? We have someone, his name or her name, Juwan. What about you call us Juwan? Do you like to call us Juwan? Juwan, what is your religion, Juwan? Anyone knows the religion of Juwan? What Juwan believe in? He's a Muslim. So Juwan, you don't like the story of Abraham that God he asked him to slay his son? Is that what he's complaining about? Is that what Juwan is complaining about? Joan, let me give you certification gift from me that you are a certified donkey because this is in the Quran you donkey So if you are saying this is Zionism as we saw in the text you are saying this is Zionist That's mean your God Allah is a Zionist because this is in the Quran you idiot You, you see I told you they make fun of you they do not know what they have in their book the story of uh, uh, Abraham been taught to slaughter his son is in the Quran, you donkey. <laughs> and not only that, the Quran confirmed that Allah Himself He sent a sacrifice, and He sacrificed the son of uh, uh, the son of Abraham. Chapter thirty-seven. Do you see it? So you are making fun of the Bible that how that can be but you do not know that this is your donkey this is in your book are you there Joan do you like to call me Joan so I can give you a certificate by hand good news you graduated today you became a mule you enter our program today as a donkey. You graduated as a mule. You are making fun of the Christians 
to believe that Abraham, how Abraham, he want to start his son. The Christian, they said to you, it's a test. He said to him, what kind of test? <laughs> test of faith? <laughs> it's in your book, your donkey. So are you are you going to call me to receive your certificate as a mule? Your mother, she will be proud about you. You graduated today. You can take a selfie with a certificate. You can tell her, Mom, I received a certificate from a Christian prince himself. So they make fun of your book, but they don't know what is in their book. Are you there, Joanne? You wanna, you, do you want to write your, uh, your will? Yes, I know. Have you heard? The last truth, the last tenth of uh, what? Oh, the last tenth of noble Quran. <laughs> what is the last tenth of the noble Quran? <coughs> Answer, I'm calling you. Yes, Abdul. Yeah, hello. Hmm. So, you are making fun hello. of the story of Abraham. What? Are you the one who said that Abraham's story cannot be a test of faith? What are you talking about now? I don't... Uh... Oh, okay, so you are not the same person. So what do you want to say to us, Mr. Abdul? <clears throat> no, I heard you talk in your conversation that you are all Christians, right? No, you have hundreds of people watching. There's some are Christians, some... Uh, there are there, there is some are... They, they, they worship ice cream. Now, what is your topic? What do you want to say to us? This topic here is about Islam. Yes, yes, it's about it's about religion. Yes, about Islam specifically. What do you want to say to us? Yeah. So no, this are you are you still uh, holding that? You say that you are all Christians, well, rather you are Orthodox or Catholic or what you said. Yeah, yeah, we, I, yeah, I insist. Yeah, what's your problem? Like as long as you have the four gospels, you are all Christians, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the Adventists are the Christians. Adventist. Well, yes. I think they have. I, I did not study them very well, so I'm not sure about them. I, I don't have too much education about them. What about them? No, I ask you. You say you all are Christians. As long I, as said, I said to you. I said to you, Protestant, Catholic, Orthodox. And when I say Protestant, I know like uh, uh, the Baptist, the Church, etc. Those are Christians. Yeah. What, what's your problem? Yes. So the Adventists also have the four I don't know. Or the I Christians. Do not, I do not know much about them. I did not read their books. I don't know. What do you say? What do you want to say to us? Why you don't want to say? Go ahead. But they have the Bible. Okay, I don't know them. I don't ever go into the church. I don't know. What What do you want to say? What, do you, what Teach me about them. Go well, ahead. I want to know, are they Christians My or not? My friend, the, the Jehovah's Witnesses, they have four Bibles too, but they are not Christians. They have false translation. They believe that Jesus is an angel. So don't be stupid. So now, I am asking you, let me ask you the same question. Is the Shia, the Druze, the Sunni, uh, 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 the, the Batniya, the Zahiriya, the Ismailiya, the Isnayashariya, the Tatariya, are they all Muslims? The only one who is Muslim is the one who follow the Quran and the teaching of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Which one is the one who follow the teaching of the Quran? The one who is following the Sunnah which and one? the what is Quran. That? Okay, all of them they say we follow the Sunnah. Even the Ahmadiyya they say we follow the Sunnah. Which one? No, they don't say that. Which one? No, all of them they say we are the one. We are the true Muslims. Which one? No. I'm asking you, my friend. Which one? That. Okay, which one? Which one? Which one? I told you the one who followed the Sunnah and the one who followed the Quran. Okay, let me ask you who is the most divided religion in the world? The most divided? Mm. Uh, the one who have like 2000 denominations that is Christianity. So that is you. Okay, do you confirm that to me? Yes. Okay, that's mean your prophet is a liar. Be my witness, guys. Okay. He said the most divided one is a Christianity, and they have two thousand denomination. Did you hear it? So, why your prophet? He said the Christian they have seventy-two. He made a prophecy that the Christians will have seventy-two, 
the Jews they will mm -hmm. have 71 and the Muslim they will have 73 and everybody mm -hmm. heard you saying that the Christians they have more than 2,000 that's mean your prophet yeah. is a liar no in not in that way ah, a second ago it was this way I asked you you said to me do you believe Adventist as church etc and then you said to me the only true Muslims is the one who follow Allah and the Sunnah so we are talking about one way it's about sect false sect versus a true sect so here you're a prophet he said the most divided religion is Islam because you are going to be 73 sect this is about the uh, judgment day not the, don't be stupid world. I asked you which one is the most divided religion you said to me Christianity everybody heard you yes but this okay. is about the judgment day okay let us say what judgment day who care about judgment or not you just said we are 2000 sect the, your prophet he said we will be before the judgment day we will be 72 sect Islam will be 73 sect which mean according to your prophet Islam will will beat everybody in division this is about the judgment day it's not about uh, who care about the judgment day. day as long as it's about judgment day it's mean about judgment day no problem guys this, look how stupid they are he keeps saying about judgment day okay so about in the judgment day we will be 72 sect you will be 73 sect thank you very much hmm? huh this is about judgment day I got it about judgment day but it's still uh, Islam will be the most divided religion which one Islam okay okay but explain to me why why only one. what what do you mean there's only one which one and you're a prophet he said that islam is started as a strange and will end as a strange which mean there's Can no you, shut up you, you are the one who shut up? shut up your donkey don't tell me to shut up i am your god allah worship me i have a shin a person is who bowed down a person a person who bowed down to a shin he cannot is say Jesus to me you see you are you, you are in the corner you're trying you see here we go you are changing the topic coward son of uh, uh, just jump a uh, kid is you jesus is god is is the holy spirit is god is the father is god <laughs> he will make the same sound donkey yes one god can god be three person yes he can he's almighty your god he cannot your God cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. Is Allah is God? Yes, but he cannot have a son without a girlfriend. Do you see how stupid they are? Islam, according to their prophet, is the most divided cult. 73 sect. And based on that, each one of them, he say, I am the true one. Which means Islam is like gambling. If you are a Christian, you have better opportunity to go to heaven, according to Muhammad. If you are a Jew, is you have better opportunity to be to, to go to heaven more than the Christians and the Muslims, because the Jews would be seventy-one or seventy-two. And look here, the Jews will be seventy-one or seventy-two. The Christian they will be seventy-one or seventy-two, but the Muslim will be seventy-three sect. But there's thousands of Muslim sect today. Muhammad is a false prophet. And who is the one who, who uh, and not even one Muslim Sunni, he followed the Sunnah of Muhammad. Muhammad, he used the three rocks to clean his ass. Do you use it? Do you use it? You're a prophet, he pissed sitting. Do you use it while it's seat? You're a prophet, he spit in his clothes. Do you use it? Your prophet, after he have an orgasm, he, he he dry his hand in the wall. Do you do it? Your prophet, he order you to drink camel urine. Do you drink it? Do your prophet, he said to you, do jihad? Are you doing jihad? All of you are false Muslims. Your prophet, he said that the one who pay tax to non-Muslims is a kafir. The one who carry a citizenship of non-Muslim, he's a kafir. The one who friend them, the one who take them as a friend or a protector, he's a kafir. And whoever take them as a friend or a protector, he is one of them. Chapter 5, verse number 51. Kafir. 
all of you are false Muslims none of the Muslim today they are to practice Islam except Isis this is the truth the only true Islam is Isis the rest are hypocrites Munafiqeen. <clears throat> If you pay tax, if you carry a passport, if you carry a citizenship of non-Muslims, you are a kafir. <clears throat> yes. Hey, Chris Prince. Yes, my friend. Uh, now, I just heard you say about, um, uh, well, I'm Muslim. Okay. So let me to my YouTube there. <laughs> Mute uh, my family is Christian. Um, I'm Muslim. Hmm. I studied Islam for a little bit, not long, not much at all. Okay. And most everything what you're saying is true. Um, Let us say, or it is. Yep. Let us. You are saying. Let the us. The reason say. why. The reason. The reason. The no, no, reason no, no, why. No, I did not hear you correctly. Please. Did you say let us say everything you are saying is true, or it is true? Now, the, what you're saying hmm. is true okay. only when I started started studying it. Okay. And I will openly admit that. Okay. It's only when you start when you start learning Quran and then your one teacher believes in one one belief and then another one believes in another and they can't come together. One prays slightly different, one's pray a little bit little difference, but the, the one that hits the dagger for me the most. Is where you you don't know nothing about Islam. They say, I but you know abide by your parents and um, you know you know and treat with utmost respect, which you always will be and always will. And then you then you go into interpretations, and they're saying that don't take your father, you know, as a you know as, as, a, a, as a as a disbeliever. Yeah, as a friend. now I like to Chapter I like to see all. Yeah, my my my, my family's Christian, but yeah, but when what you say, I like to see it all up on the screen, and then I like to go to the people that basically say all these things to me, and then I can get it right up again. You know what I mean? Okay. So basically, so if, so if I'm Muslim and my mother, father. And everyone is Christian. What happens to them? You cannot take them as a friend. They are your enemy. Mm, can we bring it all up and start start from zero, like you say? I've been listening to you for the last couple of months, and um, yeah, and I always believed in I always believed in the um, in the in the in the gospels, but not exactly the teaching because I'm ignorant like that. I will openly admit it. Um, so, but if you're going to Chapter three, um, chapter three, verse three. What I understood it was. Enza aleka kitabat bihaku besad bayna dehi means like take bayna dehi isn't isn't that meaning any between his hands? Yes. Well, to me, when I say that to a Muslim, okay, well then how can you? It's in between his hands. And then there's a no, nah, you know, nah, it's not. So it's not understood like that. So I get confused. So a little bit confused, and that's and I just like to um, understand the. Um, what would you? How would you respond? How would you respond to me about if my parents was uh, are not Muslims and they are Christians? What would it be? What? How do I take them? Totally disbelievers. Tell them to disbelieve this. I'm not sure what you mean. I mean, your your parents are Christians now. No, nah, they've they've been Christian from, okay. from day one. I'm the one that never followed Christianity. Okay, so you and, you, um, you converted to Islam. Yeah, but yeah. Okay, and, and, now, are, are and it's only when I started learning. When I started learning, hmm. is then, and and I heard that you. I heard you say, hmm. only when you start learning. Yeah, you learn from my video. The okay. truth comes out. Yeah, and you, my friend, and, do you do you? And love I don't it? have do you, do you time. To be honest, I don't have I don't have time. You you start with the Quran, and then you you get 
a small volume of Bukhari, and then it's like turned into like thousands of books. And um, yeah, I'm just asking that. So and when and with Sahih, you you have to believe in the in the Sunnah. Yes. Because then you don't know how to pray. Yes. You don't know how to. Yeah, the guy he just called me before you. The one who called me before you, he said the one who followed the Sunnah, you heard him. And the one who follow the Quran, they go to heaven, you know. But this is not true, by the way, because you have to follow the Sunnah, not the Quran, because the Quran uh, it sometimes contradict with the Sunnah. So the Muslim they have to follow well, the Sunnah. It, well, it does, and I'm being truthful. I don't. It's as much as it hurts me to say it. As much as it hurts me that uh, hurts me to say it, you can't. You you can't. You you contradict yourself, and it contradicts. And I'm and I'm. On the and I'm on the fence. So my friend, you know, did you, did you decide to leave Islam or not yet? Well, it's it's. Why well, don't say it? I mean, you are now like I'm listening to you. You are you're listening to my video. You are convinced I'm telling the truth, mm. and you are calling me to say you are you are right. You are the truth. So what is holding you from saying I'm out of Islam? My friend? It's just like you spit you. I just it's just that. Lack of knowledge, like yeah, but now you like, are, but now you are convinced that this is a false religion. I mean, what is what is holding you? Why you don't say I'm out of Islam? It's, you, it, you, you like to part, it, it, you like it, to partner with the devil. Sorry, you like to partner with the devil. Islam is the devil, obviously. It's a devilish religion. Why you are staying as a Muslim? Why you don't say I'm out of Islam? Because it's it's. It's 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 studying. It's doing all this the the studying, like uh, the the bar the the. I just I just ring to ask that. So that that I'm Muslim and my family are Christian, mm. okay. Mm. Based in by and that's fine. You can go by Sahih. Bukhari and Muslim or you can go by the you can even go before that you even go before that the other there's before b before Bukhari what happens to my and to to my family well the Quran and the Quran the says it clearly the Quran says it clearly like you cannot take them as a friend they are your enemies and whoever take them as a friend is one of them and this is mentioned in chapter 5 verse number 101 uh, one, uh, 151 mm -hmm. and the Quran chapter 9 23 so you have two cases here because your family are Christians the chapter 5 verse 51 goes for them and if you take them as a friends if you are still talking to them and you are friend to them you are out of Islam same time can you, can you bring up on the screen yeah here we go this is the bring Quran up on the screen this, is the, because, this, um... is the, this is the Quran chapter 5 verse number 51 let us show it to you <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry, I'm just and you can change the can't translation, see. whatever translation you wish to, you know, to uh, to have. I've been truthful. Just it's pretty. Just I've got just the use of Ali. Okay, I will use this if I no problem. Here um use um Ibn okay. Kathir. No problem. That's fine. Yeah. You this... all you believe, read with me. All you believe, take not the Jews and the Christians for your friends and protectors. They are but friends and protectors to each other. And he amongst you that turned into them in a friendship, he is one of them. So if you are or still a friend with your family, your parents, you are already a kafir. You're out of Islam. Mm. Okay. Right. You are one of them, and you are unjust, which means you are out of Islam. If you go to the tafsir, you will see that those who they take them as a friends, the Prophet he forbid the, the, the Muslim to take the Christians as a friends, and uh, because they are friend to each other. And if you do so, you are out of Islam and you are out of the mercy of Allah. Therefore, the Muslim they are they are it's allowed to for, for them to kill you. To take your money and to 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 uh, to humiliate you too. 
because simply you broke the command of Allah and you took them as a friend let us make it simple if you take them as a friend you became mm. a traitor to Islam you betray Allah right. yeah yeah so and now my friend so now you learn this why you don't say I am out of Islam it's uh, it, uh, it's just like it's just it's just like out of I think it was a time of my life and just you know you just you go in blindly and you do and it's like okay now you you're praying let's learn let's learn what you're actually saying in Arabic and you go and learn it and you understand it a bit and then it's like oh that's not what they taught me or when you go to Friday prayers and they talk they emphasize it's like are they talking about um, your parents in general or are they talking about um, you know if your parents are Muslim but why my parents aren't Muslim I'm saying to myself in my head and um, and another thing that sticks out is that um, you know my mother says my mother says why is the emphasis on Jesus and why is what's and everything it's like it's almost like she's listening to you is like what she's telling me and I don't have it a real confirmed answer so I don't I don't understand I don't really try I don't really understand that the Bible I I, I, I just don't understand the whole well, I've been listening how you um the the three in one i, I know you're gonna you, friend, you go. uh, for, for now for now let us let us not to talk about this three in one let us say you are not a christian you don't want to be christian but are you going to stay as a muslim why you don't leave islam say i am out of islam and then we can talk about the bible if you want well basically well basically i'm de declaring it and that's another thing if i go and ask quit and i go to ask christians so you are saying I am um, out of Islam. when i was are going you? a lot when i was even studying online yeah if you ask questions if you if you have questions <laughs> even in islamic law you're they can kill you i was like oh that's a bit a bit too much for me you know yeah so are you are you going to say i am out of Islam? i want to hear it from you yeah. yeah, that's one. Yeah, I'm out. Friend. I'm happy for you. I'm, you know, I'm out. You know, you are. You, this Islam is not is not even good for somebody who have a mental issue. I mean, this is a stupid religion. Everything about it is stupid. Not only it's violence, hateful, but it is stupid. Cult from the beginning to the end. You know what kind of God he promised me an endless penis and vagina and a lot of women waiting for me naked I mean this is stupid this is gonna be from God this is like a little devil making fun of our brain and the, the devil even is not respecting us who in the world wanna believe in such a garbage there's God if we bow down for him five times a day and we do jihad and we kill some people then we go to heaven and he will give us naked women and they open their legs right away when they see us I mean who in the world wanna believe in such a garbage you are a human being you have a brain God gave you a gift use it right so I'm happy for you because you decide to leave Islam. Now, if you have a question for me about Christianity, I will be happy to answer you. But why in the world even you convert to such a cult? How did how did how did they deceive you? How did they lie to you? Um, I think uh, it was well. If if you don't if you don't know, and you just go by what people tell you, and you just read the the English. Um, you start reading the, I start reading the Quran and you, you read a little bit and then, you know, I believe that there's, I, I believe, I believe there's a God. There's no doubt about it. And like, I believe that, that I believe that he's unseen. That's what, that's what captivated me. So straight away in the Quran, it's the unstablished prayer, it's unseen. It's fine. You feel good. You, you know? and um, then when you then it's then when when it comes to a year and a half or a, a good year later, you know, you start actually trying to learn it is when you start hearing and you, you start learning, you start learning the Arabic. So the English doesn't even make sense. No. So what I'm actually learning, 
so like I just said, begging the day he well, is well in, in between his hand. And then I know that I know, and I said the, one of the the hadith about the took the the Torah took the Torah like literally. Mm. So it, it it goes together. But then like you mean I he did, took the I Torah and he I'm took an oath in it, right? When he took an oath, you mean? Yes. Yeah, Muhammad. He took an oath in the Torah. Yeah. How how do and we yet, say and, it's corrupt and then he took an oath in the Torah? Unless he is a liar, hypocrite. Well, that's like I don't like I don't like, I, I'm not I, I'm not I, I don't want to disrespect people. I sort of hold back. Um, you go to you try you do you do like you say oh yep this book you know hasn't been touched. <laughs> and yeah, you're tr and they you're don't right. even have a book. What, that, what have you been touched? The the Quran is not even. They don't even have a book. It's called Quran. Yeah, they don't well, have that's any book. It's I called only Quran. Only after. Yeah. So this after what, this what happened to this this uh, this gentleman here. They lied to him. He doesn't speak Arabic. He is from Hong Kong, as I understand. And they fool him. They no, told no, him Islam is one religion, etc. Blah 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 blah. And then bingo! After a year and a half, he found that everything they told him it's a lie. And this is why many of those who convert to Islam, an average of a year or two or three maximum, they leave Islam. Rarely you will find somebody he is a Muslim for long, unless they are making a benefit of it. Uh, but the second you start studying and, uh, and, and learning, especially if you start learning the language, you will notice that there is a big fat lie behind the scene and they did not tell him. Right? Yeah. All right, my friend. And, I, the, and, I, and I took, I took, everything i took i listened to everyone and and then didn't do the research and i think that's the truth is is that you can't like people say the, the quran's untouched well it's been touched that's be you don't have all the harakat and like all they the even have quran. What touch? They don't, my friend they don't, don't even have, have the, the quran on it my friend what touch they don't have the quran the muslim now they and don't it, have any quran they don't have it what touch <laughs> They don't have and a book. it says by half's 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 interpretation, but they didn't take. So then I said, "Well, but what about hadith from from half's?" No, he was yeah because he's a, a because he's a fraud and liar. Yeah, and even even when it comes to even if you look at the lifetime of Bukhari, yeah, why you know towards the end they didn't the, sound like he had a hard in life. Yeah. Anyway, my friend, I cannot keep you for long because it's time for yeah. me to go. But you can call me maybe okay. tomorrow if we go on on air or yeah. after. Feel free yeah. to call me and we can continue talking. I'm happy for you that you decide yeah. to leave Islam. And I pray that you will accept the Christ again and you will become uh, a believer. And uh, always when you read the Bible, don't read it with the... With the uh, it's not, it's, you know, we don't want to be blind like Muslims. Read the question, ask questions, try to find answers. And here we go. We have uh, today. We are in the age of the internet, and you can find those who attack the Bible making articles. Those who believe in the Bible making article. Read, read and learn, and you know educate yourself, because even the one who attack me, they do me a benefit. By the way, me as a Christian, those who attack my faith as a Christian make me a better Christian. After all the attack I receive against Christianity, I did not feel that I am following something wrong. It is the opposite. Actually, it make me insist to become a warrior, not to become just a Christian. There's a Christians and there's a Christian warriors. I am a Christian warrior. And I became a Christian warrior because I took too much bullets from Islamic people who shoot at me and that make me a warrior. So bullet of the devil make us Christians better Christians. Not, we don't weaken, we, we get strength. Islam cannot take bullets. This is why Islam, if you attack Muhammad, if you say something about Muhammad, they kill you because this is a cult. Cannot that, handle that's, questions. That's what I, I get. I do. I get scared. It's, it's almost like a scare tactic, to be honest. I do. Like I, I don't. I want to. I don't want to be loved. I don't. I don't want to be too. I, I want to fear in God, but not very fearful. Like that's how I. That's how I felt. Uh, I, feel, I feel like I'm very few, fearful. Like I don't need people to. If I want to leave. If if I don't want to believe in something, don't feel like if I was in an Islamic country, then I'm going to get my head chopped off. Well, do you live in an Islamic country now? 
No, I don't. Okay, so what are you worried about? Go ahead. You know, just let this come. <laughs> be good for you. Anyway, my friend, thank you very much for calling, and uh, try try to all call right. me some other time. All right. All right. Thank okay. Take care. Okay. Take care. Thank you. You see what happened when they lie to your child? Like you, you know, you go, you you associate with Muslims, and they start fabricating news, uh, fabricating teaching, giving you all a false uh, statement, but none of it is true. And you know, because uh, uh, because you've never been taught, so you believe, you think this is true, you think that those people are truthful, but the facts not. In Islam, they are allowed and permitted to lie. This is how the cult work. This is how the cult function. So don't make such a cult fool you. This, this is a different kind of cult. Hello? Hello? Are you there? Hello? Okay, take care. Uh, don't become a Christian if you don't believe Christianity is right. Don't. Nobody forcing you. Don't be a fool. Believe when you believe. Believe after you study. Don't take things blindly. We Christians, we don't care for numbers. Yes, we are the biggest population in the world, but who care about population? We care for the quality. We care for the truthful one. Who care if somebody, he, he call himself a Christian and he wear a cross, but he is a drug dealer? We don't care about numbers. Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord will enter the kingdom of my father, the word of my, my Lord. So many they will say to him, Lord, Lord, but the fact few are truthful. The Muslim, they try to be proud about numbers when none of them, as you see, here we go. The guy, he called me, he's a Muslim all his life. He do not know the one before. He don't know if his God is spirit or not. They don't even know the nature of their God. They do not know they are worshiping who? Muhammad himself, he never met Allah, never spoke to Allah, never heard Allah. So how, how you can tell me about your God? And as you see, the God, he did not know where the sun set. The sun set in the murky water. He found the sun rising, in, in setting, the rising place of the sun. The thunder is an angel. There's an ice, a mountain of ice in heaven. Allah cut pieces and throw it at us. The baby is created from the backbone of the, the man and the ribs of the women. He's a God, but he don't remember which one he created first, the trees or the stars. I mean, this is the most silly, stupid religion. And then in the top of that, which is the reward, is the most stupid, stupid reward ever. That the reward of Allah alone is enough to prove to me that Islam is nothing but a pure cult. A God, he promised me vagina. I mean, have you ever heard of a God like this? Aren't you ashamed even to say that he is God? A God, he described for me that what is, what is inside their vagina, not only what kind of women they are, what is inside their vagina? A God, he says to me, I will give you women who they are human, the, the skin inside their vagina is not being in, having intercourse. I'm trying to be polite. This is God. The Muslims in their false translation, they say to you that they, they've never been touched. That doesn't say that in Arabic. It says, Nobody made them bleed from being born. That's what it says in Arabic. A God who described for me the size of the breast of the women, I will go to heaven. That is God. Why this God is describing the size of their, of their, of their boobs? Have you ever heard of a God telling you, I'm going to give you firm boobs, women? How God is, what is that?
This is in the Quran, this is not in the Hadith. Well, I'm so happy that Allah is God and He will give me women, they have big breasts. Or a prophet who promised me that my penis will never go sleep. I was worried, to be honest with you. I mean, this is really making me worry. A lot of women waiting, but he is, but the, but the Mr. Penis is not working. And then Allah, He promised me, Allah Messenger, He promised me that Allah is going to import some group of women from hell. They are prostitute and they are good in boom boom. I, I learned this uh, word I was once in Asia and uh, a girl she came to me and she said sir do you want to do boom boom <laughs> do you want to do boom boom <laughs> boom boom <laughs> uh, I said why you want to do boom boom I go to Allah Allah will give me all the boom I want Allah the God of the boom boom Look, Huris and Allah will, will import 70 women from heaven from hell. Why they are in hell? Because they are hookers, which whom they all have desirable front passages, which mean their boobs, their vagina, their yeah, boing, boing, big, you know, like oh cow. This is God. And then he said, and he will have a male member that will never become a flaccid, i.e. soft penis. Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. And the Muslims is, is debating me about the Trinity. They are worried about the Trinity. <laughs> this is what you are worried about? You have the most, the biggest pimp God ever in history. And you are debating the Christian about the Trinity. Let us say the Christians, their Trinity is right or wrong. That will not change that your God, Allah, is a pimp. The Muslim remind me of somebody, he have a big tree in his eye, and he is saying to his friend, do you see the little thing in your eye? Look at this. Go and read the words of Jesus and read the words of Muhammad and the words of Allah who describe the vagina describe what is inside the vagina describe the boobs of women describe the penis endless so they try their best to attack you in the Trinity and the purpose is one let us keep them busy from exposing and spanking our Prophet Muhammad. You cannot do that with me. I'm warning you, Muslims. This game does not work with me. It might work with the, like you can ask David Wood to debate about Trinity. Okay, have a good luck. I don't do that. Because I know the target. They debated, you debated with the Christians for, for 2,000 years about the Trinity. So if all the Christians before me did not convince you about the Trinity, I'm not going to do better. I'm not going to waste my time. All your target is that you don't want me to show people how stupid your prophet is. This is the whole idea of calling me and saying, let us debate about the Trinity. Nothing else. Just to disturb you from exposing their cult. I don't care you believe in the Trinity or not. I don't care if you believe in Jesus or not. I go to heaven, you go to hell. This is what I know. I am a believer and you have no answer for me. And I, by the way, I don't mind to, to answer about the Trinity, but I know the game. Do you know how many years I'm doing this debating Muslims? I know the game. 
you spend two hours showing them reference at the end of they say to you this is the, your Bible is corrupt okay thank you very much <laughs> why you want to waste my time I know the game it's an old game nothing new don't let them take you away from your target shoot the head of the snake the head of the snake is Muhammad if you talk about Osama bin Laden it doesn't hurt them if you talk about Isis it doesn't hurt them hit the head of the snake Muhammad don't waste your time as many people do I don't care about Isis Muhammad is more dangerous and more ugly and more evil than Isis. actually Isis is a lot nicer that Muhammad, than Muhammad and I can't prove it always debate about Muhammad and his book don't debate about something else don't waste your time about ISIS don't waste your time about Al-Qaeda Osama Bin Laden all this garbage they, those are actually victims of Muhammad themselves they are victims the poor guy in ISIS he explored himself his penis in the west his ass in the east his belly bomb in the north why because he hope, he's hoping he will have this he will have a penis in heaven Guess what? You got one. That's the truth. He go, he explode himself to get what? To get a penis. A penis never sleep. This is a dream. You see in America, they say to you, the American dream? Well, Islam, they have Islamic dream. The Islamic dream, you will have a lot of women. They have big boobs and penis will never sleep. So the guy wanna die. Please give me, give me the vest. I wanna die. The brother, let me die first before you. No, brother, I wanna get the penis, the, the big penis first. Not you. I mean, what what if Allah is out of penises? This is the truth, which nobody wanna say it. And you know what the funny is, Christian, they say to me, You are not talking like a Christian. I mean, why you wanna decorate the devil? Why you wanna sugarcoat the devil? Why you don't say things as it is? Since when, since when to be a Christian is to be a hypocrite and to be a liar and to sugarcoat? Oh, you are using the word penis. My friend, it says in the front of me, it says penis. What I will say? I will say zucchini. Oh, we Christian, we should not use such a language. Are you stupid or what? It says their penis. I will call it what? Cucumber? I mean, this is a crazy. It says penis. I have to say penis. In the other day, a guy, he said to me, why you are saying the word booger? I said, it says booger there. What's wrong with you? He said, this is disgusting. I said, none of my business. If Muhammad is collecting booger, what is my business? If he collect uh, 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 stamps, I would say he collects stamps. But sadly, he is not collecting stamps. He's collecting boogers. What's my problem? Uh, I was eating and this is disgusting. Get lost. <laughs> I mean, people are crazy, man. Why you said booger? It says there in front of me. You, you are, I'm talking about Islam. Don't, accept, don't expect that you will have a nice meal. As you see, penises, uh, vagina, big ass. Have you ever heard of a prophet who promised that your wife, his, the wife of the Muslim in the heaven, will be one mile? One mile ass, what I would do with a wife like this? What if she decides to sit in the top of me and she want to spoil me? One mile ass? If her ass is one mile, her shit, how big it is? Oh, somebody will say to me, did you say shit? Yes. We have to expose it, my friend. We have to make it look how stupid it is. We have to show the people. Some people are slow. A wife, she have one mile ass. One mile. Why? I mean, what about half mile? Like, is that, is that a beauty scale to be one mile ass?
I mean, yes, all of us we like big screen TV, but I don't think one mile ass is a is a choice. What if your wife she fart? Huh? What if your wife she fart and your neighbor smoke a cigarette behind her? Do you know what will happen? Do you know literally what happened? Do you know what the methanol can do? It's a flammable, my friend. Your neighbor will become a barbecue. He will be burned. One mile ass will generate how many tons of gas? Can we use the fart of your wife in the heaven for, you know, house heating? One mile ass? If her ass is one mile, if she spat, how big the spat is? A lake? And by the way, I'm worried where I'm going to get an underwear for a wife like this. And where we can wash her underwear. Well, we have to admit, size does matter. The bigger, the better. One mile ass. May Allah ask you. And by the way, I'm upset. I mean, why one? Why one mile? What about ten mile? I mean, what Allah will lose? Is he out of his space? Make it one hundred mile. And what make it more funny when he says he will give you endless penis? Imagine you live in New York and your penis is now is going in Brazil in the jungle and all the killer ants are biting your penis. Or you receive a phone call from China and like what the heck? Can you translate it, please? We gave your penis a ticket because you are disturbing the highway in Beijing. An endless penis. Okay, my wife is next to me and she have one mile ass. And now my penis in China. What I will do? You turn? Shall I do your turn? I miss the exit. And you are telling me that this is a religion and this is a God. Literally, you have to be mentally sick to believe in such a garbage. If you have my book, Sex and Allah, you will see how tall the man will be and how tall the women will be. You will die laughing. How many of you have the book? Six of Allah. Get it. It's two volume. And by the way, I did not mention everything. I mentioned what is like, uh, it's just to prove my point, you know? Otherwise, if I want to talk about sex and Allah, I will spend my coming life just writing about it. Any Abdul? Anyway, if you are a Muslim, now the Muslim, he will go to sleep. He snore. And he start dreaming that Allah now opened the door and he delivered for him 70 hookers from the most expert in sex. Boom, boom expert. And they have the most desirable front passages. Nice nipples, big breasts, the vagina is so you know, I know, and then his penis is not relaxing no more. I mean, this is not a reward, this is a punishment. Imagine you have an endless penis and he will never go sleep. How you can walk with it? You see, if it's a tail, I will say I can drag the tail behind me, but this is a penis, it's enough my front. How you can walk with this penis? Make it a tail will be more, you know, a tail can you can drag it maybe. It's a penis, what you will do? You will install like a, a six-wheeler truck in the front of it and you like, you make it go, especially if it's, uh, it's going to be like uh, uh, never asleep. You know what I'm talking about? It's tried, like, I mean. <laughs> what a crazy religion. <laughs> this, is a, this is Allah. This is the one you want me to worship and you want me to, to, to believe in. I'm really convinced. Truly, 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 I'm convinced. 
and not only that Allah to make it more uh, more attractive he promised me that my wife's in heaven you will see through their bones <clears throat> I mean, this is alone will make a lot of people convert to us now. Have you ever heard of women? We they are so Muhammad, he knew that his people they are Arab and the Arab they like white women, they are obsessed with white women. So he promised them that those women they will be so white to the point you can see the marrow of their bones. You believe it? The marrow of their bones? So now imagine this. You have a very beautiful, sexy wife. Extremely sexy this is your wife in heaven now my friend Oof. mean you know what it's too late today I mean we are late at night I don't want to I don't want to corrupt your mind and make your dreams about something not suitable this is what Allah will promise me a woman I will see the marrow of their bones and this is supposed to be sexy Guys, somebody turn. Why it's getting hot here? I don't know what's happening. It's getting so hot. Suddenly, I don't know. Like, I mean, uh, I mean, this is what I will have in heaven. I will see the marrow of their bones. Me, this is so sexy. And you are not convinced yet that Allah is God. Look at this position. Look at this one. Look at this one. This one alone is something. I mean, we have to be honest. We cannot resist this, my friend. Stop being stubborn. Oh boy. So, honest to God, a person who believes in such a garbage, he have, have to be suffering from mental illness. I'm not exaggerating. There's no way, no way a human being, he have a little brain, he will believe in such a garbage. And look how beautiful they are. Every one of you will have two wives of the Huri. And by the way, the number changed. Because depend how many people you killed. The lowest, the lowest believer will have 72. The higher you go, the more you get as women. So now they are so beautiful and pure and transparent. They are what? They are transparent. To the point you can see the marrow of their bones. That's beyond imagination. Brother, I want to convert to Islam. Honestly, I cannot wait. This is so beautiful. This is so sexy. Brother, you will get a wife like this, brother. Or like this, brother. Or like this, brother. And from now on, if your wife she ate your hamburger you know where is the hamburger because you can see what is inside her belly and even what is inside other places nobody can hide it from you brother and this is a prophet of God and this is Sahil Bukhari they can't say it's a lie finally women they cannot hide what they have if you lose your credit card and your wife she tried to hide it between her breast she cannot no more 
because women in heaven they will be transparent this is the dream is coming true finally that's amazing that's so beautiful that is Zosek Z I cannot wait to go to heaven that's beyond imagination brother and look he says Muhammad he cannot stop talking Muhammad he have to do big poo poo the moral the moral of their bones of their legs will be seen through the bones and the flesh Alhamdulillah I'm really truly convinced that Muhammad is a prophet of God who can have a doubt about this no way you cannot here imagine your wife in heaven she is doing this oh man I cannot imagine this I cannot wait that's Please somebody turn the fan on. I better turn off, otherwise people, they will say this is a porn channel. This is what I will have in the heaven? Please don't take me there, man. You scared the hell of me. This is my wife in heaven. You know what? I'm going to close my eyes from now on. Oh, look at this one. This one is even better. It's getting better and better. It's getting more complicated, actually. <laughs> oh, boy. Look at this. That's it. Please, please, please stop. I'm, I'm single. I'm still single. I cannot handle this. I have to go. This is really, really too much. This is, oh, look at this. Oh boy. Oh boy. No way. That's it. And you are telling me that Muhammad is not a prophet. What's wrong with you? I mean, come on, are you blind? Don't you see what you will have in heaven, my friend? If Muhammad is not a prophet of God, how even he knew that there is an X-ray technology within Allah? How he knew that? We will see the marrow of their bones. For sure, Muhammad is saying the truth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, guys. Okay. I think you guys are going crazy. And... Uh, I'm afraid now many of you especially the married one they will divorce your wife after I saw you I showed you such a beauty you look at your wife and you look at this and you say to yourself why I want to stay with this woman look at this woman I will go and marry an x-ray but uh, right right away go to the hospital and tell them I want some x-ray for women I think Playboy magazine they should change their magazine pictures they should not have normal pictures no more. They should have X-ray and sell it specifically in Saudi Arabia. And then we write in the description, 27 years old female wearing a blue high heels because you can't see the color as you see. Uh, and, and the skin, she is very white. I mean, we, what, what we describe. And now she is sleeping in her belly. This is a description in the side of the picture. And you will see in Saudi Arabia how will they they will buy the 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 the, uh, the Playboy magazine like crazy made by Allah. Isn't it amazing? Oof! I cannot take it no more. Sorry, you hey guys. Maybe you are married. I am single. I cannot take it no more. Let's it. Let me change. Let me, let me close this page. This is too much. 
Oh boy. So if I did not convince you that Muhammad is a prophet, I feel sorry for you. I really feel sorry for you. If I am you, you should be convinced. Hmm? She might be a dude, you are right, in the x-ray. We do not know. <laughs> it might be a dude. Who, who knows? <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, <clears throat> anyway. Anyway, guys, I think we have enough for today. Please download my videos because I am deleting my videos. I don't keep them for long. And the reason I do that, I want to be sure that people are downloading my videos right away. So if you care... If you like to share them with your friends, etc., download them, repost them, and let us spread the truth. I don't care about how many subscribers I have. Go and download my videos and get a million subscribers more than me. I don't care. Good for you. I don't care about subscribers. I care about how many people watch the video and learn. They learn from who? I don't care. If you see somebody exposing Islam too, download his video. Share it if he allow you. But for me, I allow everybody feel free. Here we exposed the lies, so you will not be deceived. We are not we are not talking funny in the purpose of making fun, even. But we, what we can do is stupid. I mean, what I can do. But the purpose here to show you that this is cannot be true. This is a belief only for dummy, stupid people, and we are better than this. You are an atheist, you are a Hindu, you are a Buddha, you are a Christian, it doesn't matter. You have a brain. Use it. How a person, a Bedouin man, like his name is Muhammad, he was able to make those people believe in such a garbage. Because simply, nobody want to use his brain for a second. They put it in a sleep. And our duty here is to make the brain awake for those who their brain is asleep. Now, I'm sure most of you here, that your brain is functioning very well. But keep your promise that you will not divorce your wife after I showed you those pictures. It's not fair if your wife, she don't look beautiful like this. Right? I mean, come on. It's not her fault. So don't use those pictures I showed you as an excuse to hate your wife or to see her not beautiful. And don't convert to Islam. You know, once I was... He's speaking to a 10,000 Hindu, and I made a mistake, and um, I, I never thought this mistake would make them convert to Islam. I said to them, do you know that the biggest chapter in the Quran is the cow chapter? The second I said that, all those Hindus, they became Muslims. But I don't mean it really. How I know? They said to me, really? The biggest chapter is the cow chapter? He said, yes. So now I don't want this happen to you too. I showed you those pictures and then you, you convert to Islam because of the beauty of those Zexi women in the X-ray. So I want to say thank you for being here. Uh, uh, there's a Muslims? Uh, I think we don't have Muslims now. I think the Muslims are doing the Isha prayer. You remember the Sheikh? He said to me, you have to go the, do the Aisha prayer. Uh, by the way, if you did not watch my last debate with the Sheikh, go and watch it. It's called Debate with Sheikh Abdul Wadud. He destroyed Christian Prince. Go watch it, my friend. Don't miss the don't miss the comedy. Okay? Don't miss the comedy. It's good. And don't forget to download it and share it around. All right. I want to say thank you, my, my friends, and may the Lord bless us all. And may we pray that the Lord will open the eyes of the Muslims. And I don't hate Muslims. I really love them and I care for them. And this is why I want them to see the truth and we want to save them from such a cult. This is not about hating anyone. This is about hating lies. I hate lies. I expose lies. And I believe lies is our enemies. And let us not to be deceived. You want to believe in Christ or not? It's up to you. You want to believe that the God of the Christian false or true? It's up to you. But to believe in killing others, that is not up to you. We will stand against you.
You believe in beating women, we will stand against you. You believe in raping children, we will stand against you. There's a huge difference between you believe in something have to do with you only and something have to do with killing and harming others. So feel free to believe in one or whatever you want. You want to believe that Allah will give you an endless penis? Good for you. Hmm? If this will become true for you. But you want to believe that by killing me you go to heaven, you exceed your limit. You believe you want to kill the Jews, you go to heaven, the Hindus, the Buddhas, the atheists, you exceed your limit. And all of us we will stand against you. Go kiss a stone. Go around the stone. Believe in women, they have boneless or they, 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 they are transparent. That is your stupid belief. But don't force your stupidity on us. And we will stand against you. Thank you for being with, you know, with us today. And may the Lord bless you. And I will see you soon again. Christ is Lord. And Islam is false. I mean to that. And see you soon. Bye-bye.